le quartier. Hello world, let's be friends. I'm Kei from Japan. First, let me introduce myself. My name is Kei, K-E-I, and I live in Japan. I travel back and forth between Tokyo and Okinawa for work. I have multiple titles such as a web director, live stream manager, but in the near future, I want to focus on researching well-being as my life's work. So I want to connect people all over the world and communicate with them. You. This YouTube channel that introduces Japanese culture, national character, entertainment, and so on will also be a part of my life's work. Anyway, let me say this first. Thank you for listening my pro English. Thank you. Arigatou gozaimasu. Okay, today I will introduce Japanese onigiri that you can buy convenience stores in Japan. They are evolving more and more. Let's check out the latest onigiri. This is the onigiri. I bought at the convenience store this morning in Japan. Three most common convenience stores are 7 Eleven, Family Mart, Lawson. I think 7 Eleven is most popular. While Lawson and Family Mart competing for the second place, by the way, my ranking is 7 Eleven, Lawson, Family Mart in that order. Lately, convenience store Onigiri has divided into two main categories. One is a traditional type, which you can buy just one dollar. The other type is a little more high-end and can be purchased uh, two or three dollars. First, let me introduce traditional type. I think its main feature is... Oh my god! Look at this! Look at this! The beautiful triangular shape. Excellent. It's impressive, isn't it? Sorry. Just a joke. This onigiri has another big feature. It's wrapped separately with seaweed and rice bowl itself to keep the seaweed crispy and prevent it from getting damp. Foreigners who try convenience onigiri for the first time often struggle to open it. In fact, during the Olympics held in Japan, overseas journalists posted on social media they didn't know how to open onigiri. Then many Japanese posted comments to teach them, which became a hot topic at the time. Now, many of you may already know this, but let me explain the correct way to open an onigiri. Okay, let's start. Take it easy. First, place the onigiri in front of you. Eye to eye. Eyes to eye. Okay? Then pick it up. Pick it up. Then observe it. Observe. Okay. I think after about 3 minutes, you should be able to find a feature of onigiri. Oh, what a beautiful triangular shape! I can't eat! Too beautiful to eat! No, no. Just kidding. If you can't find any feature other than triangular shape, it might be a good idea to forget about the onigiri and take a walk outside. Anyway, you should notice that there is a number one on the top, marked on the top, number one. Okay? Hold on to that part and put it down. Okay? Loading rotating it 
around to its back to its back okay back body Ooh, okay okay stop stop okay next next number two put it side put it to the side okay 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 two yeah put it put it put it pull two three two two five five okay three three is oh 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 three oh three two 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 is oh oh my god Oh my god! No. I missed! I missed! I'm Japanese, I missed! Oh! This is bad example. Okay. Okay. Sorry. Take two. Okay. Number one. Top. Mark number one, okay, and hold on that part and put it down, put it down, and rotating it around to its back, okay, 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 next, put the part with the number two, number two. To the side. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. And this is very important thing. Put it to hard number two. And the onigi may fall apart. So, koregurai. Mm, just like that. Okay, next. Uh, number three. Put it to the side okay 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 then put the part no 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 finally hold on to the bottom and put it down lightly okay complete complete perfect 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 Okay, okay. That's all. The mission of opening the onigiri is complete. Next, I introduce classic fillings for onigiri. Uh, I eat now shake, sake, uh, in English, salmon. This is very po popular, popular one. The most classic fillings for convenience to onigiri that can be purchased at a low price is um, salmon ume ume is pickle plums pickle plums okay seed skin mayonnaise seed skin mayonnaise is uh, tuna and mayonnaise and oh Kombu, kombu, seaweed, seaweed, but uh, sea kelp, sea kelp, comb, sea kelp, okay, and, okay, spicy kotro, spicy kotro, karashi mentaiko, spicy kotro, okay, these are very popular and classic type, and buy one dollar, just one dollar in convenience store, at convenience store. I've heard that tuna mayonnaise is popular among foreigners. Recently, salted onigiri without any filling has also joined the classic lineup. Mm. Mm. Onigiri and green tea. 
go well together. Remember this. Next, I'll introduce the high-end lineup. Take a look. There's not much left of the beautiful triangular shape. It's a shame, but please don't worry. The high quality thing makes up for it. Popular thing for high-end onigiri includes salmon berry. Okay. Okay, salmon roll. Okay. Grilled meat, grilled meat. And omelette rice on key. Omelette rice. Omelette rice. And sausage. Sausage on giri. And half cooked simad egg on giri. Half cooked simad egg on giri. This is just a part of Aziz. And uh, oh, spam. Spam sandwich on giri. Okay, I open this. Ooh. Oh! Oh my god! Ah! Triangular shape! Cute! Okay! Wait! Ding! Look at this! Yes! Grilled meat! Mmm! So yummy! Mm. This lineup a little bit expensive rather than classic type, but uh, worth eating, I think. Worth eating. Mm. By the way, this onigiri, this uh, spam sandwich onigiri, is only available in Okinawa. So. Another prefecture is uh, uh, don't sell this. Okay. I have a strong impression that traditional onigiri is usually eaten with other side dishes uh, such as ramen, yakisoba, fried chicken, and so on. But with these high-end things, onigiri can stand alone as a complete dish. I think so. How was today's video? Finally, I'd like to introduce my favorite onigiri filling. If I'm eating onigiri with yakisoba or ramen, I chose uh, from traditional type, sea kelp and uh, uh, <laughs> shake, shake, salmon, okay? And if I'm eating only alone, I chose uh, okay salmon berry and mm, salmon roll. I like salmon. Okay. Hmm. This sausage onigiri is very. Mm, also, favorite. When you come to Japan, be sure to try the convenience store onigiri. I hope you have fun and open it cleanly. Thank you for watching. I'll continue to share Japan's culture and latest information. I also want to do interesting interviews about values such as how Japan is built from abroad and how the world is built from Japan. Please feel free to connect with me on SNS and contact me anytime. I want to be your friend. Well then, let's meet again in the next video. See you. Thanks for watching.